Hey, how's it going? I got the the rear gun locked in pretty well. Um, actually, I haven't tried to reset it yet. Hmm. Resetting's maybe not so good <laughs> if I line it up. And then there'll be a little door that can cover up that gap. Uh, right now, I'm having trouble getting it to feed ammo into both sides. So it's only loading the left side and not the right side. But I gave it a little belt along the bottom so it can hold more ammo while it's deployed. And I want to get it so it can fire at twice the rate. So right now it's limited by just being able to load one side. And if I can get the other side to do it, we'll be doubling the speed. And then with these cannons that are going to pop out on the front, or the little guns, uh, I think I'll put them beside the main gun. If I, I might have to move the bridge forwards actually. But we'll have another station for the side guns and they'll both be operated by that person. So I was thinking about this moon pool business. I think doing tracks is probably not a good idea. Just because of how janky it is. But what I think would be a really good idea is actually what I was saying last time was two pivots. So I'm not going to use the door, I don't think. I'm going to use just blocks. Uh, but they'll look very strange, won't they? The side door. So because we're an odd number, to get a perfect split down the middle, we need to XML some of these blocks to be too wide, and then that will mean they hang over by 0.5 on each side. And I want to get the pivot points so that the top of this is... Well, that's just below the top of that. Because I think you're right, if I've got ladders... I don't need too many ladders, but if I've got a couple of ladders here, when these open, you'll be able to grab the ladder to climb up. And I think I'll go with that kind of configuration. Or actually, what if we go something like that? Better. That's basically what I want. It means I'm like rotating below pivots or below I'm, I'm rotating below the rails no it's hitting something is it yeah it's hitting something but that makes getting in so much easier oh there's this other pivot that's still connected how did that get connected yeah, if I take these pivots though, just press O, flip them so that the, the fat part is below the rail. And then the, the other bit is beside the ladder. And then all of these blocks, I guess what you would really want to do is find out how long this is. 27, so 13. Have one block in the middle there and stretch this this block to be two by twenty-seven. Do you think I can get it first try? No, close enough. Oh, is it it wasn't even twenty-seven, it was twenty-nine. It was twenty-seven. No, oh what? It's like twenty-eight. No. I'm just stupid. It was twenty-seven. I need to leave the outer edge so like uh, this needs to be connected to the blue and this needs to be connected to the blue so this changes the logic from like a 2x6 to a 1x2 push the button yes so I mean it it means you can't open right on the seafloor, which is maybe not good. But I get ladders, which is good. And well, that one's missing a ladder. Because now it's real easy to get up into here. 
if I wanted to be real tricky, I could just put more pivots on it. Like I could pivot from here backwards. I don't see the point in that. I think maybe there is a, a case to put like porthole windows in the middle so that if these things are down, you can fully see through it. Yeah, it's probably gonna sink because there's a lot of holes in it. At least this room's dry. Oh no. Uh, that's pretty good. I kind of would like it if they folded some other way maybe. Definitely way more reliable and way more useful than a sliding hatch. Because like this will just come back up. No problems, no jank, no getting stuck anywhere. You can push this button all day. So the thing with the windows is like if you've got the doors down you can kind of use them as a way to see what's on the other side because that's how windows work what do you think it looks a bit bulky right but it's way more user friendly i'm gonna stick with this for now because at least it works and it's reliable so i want to put a crane in here now a gantry crane and maybe I should make some allowance for the roof to come off as well. You could definitely use it to transport containers then. If there is going to be a hole, put it further up. Because this way you can load into here and then move stuff back onto there. Um, doors. I'm going through doors. I was thinking I could use grippers or tracks to get across this, but there's no way to do that without breaking the seal. So if we go one, two, three, four... This will be 9, 11, that's the hole I need for a container to go in. So give it some more space. And then this should be 29, 26, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Almost all the way to the edge. So 31 would be good. 30. Just for like leeway. This one does actually need to be a door, like a custom door. Or I need to put another another custom door. I really like the look of this actually, with the little wedges. They should really just make a more robust door system that doesn't require this kind of shenanigans. I might be able to lock this door in with the door on the bottom though. Not sure how that works. Cut this, paste it back, and then I'm gonna merge it to this door and hope that having more doors makes it more secure. Right, it make it harder to twist around. I'm gonna have to open up the top a little bit so that I can actually get past this. We'll make it so that the crane can't go Oh yeah, we can, we can we can go the whole way. Don't see why not. So I need to probably remove the very last one. It'll go all the way up to the wall and then the same on this end because I've got the light. The light on the back, winch on the front. I'll just lift the controls from Clifford and it'll work exactly the same and I can put all these walls back. So this very top door needs to be, I mean, this is probably going to be a sliding door, isn't it? Or do I do another lifty, openy hatch kind of door like what I did down here? Let's, let's put the hinges like maybe in the middle or maybe not too far forwards. So with these front ones, I'm going to make it, they're going to be, they're going to fold in two places. So this will come across and it only needs to meet, it's going to be similar to how I've done the hatch over here where it's got this thing on top. And it probably needs to start open actually, but I'll make it closed and then I'll open it. And it needs to start open because it's going to have these little wedges in the corner. 
I am really bad at like sticking to optimizing this, aren't I? It's got a lot of sub sub bodies, sub grids on it now. And then I think this was 31. 31. This thing is now 2 by 31. I really hope this works. The good thing is that this logic down here can be used. We have moon pool and cargo door. Uh, it probably needs another pivot in it to make it do what I want. Don't sink. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
It does not. Very goofy looking, but it does not. I'm going to do a gap of five off the wall and then probably like 11. That's not going to work. Maybe 15. Actually, I bet 13 would have worked really well. Lights in the dark. Yeah, that's good. Now they're, they're still on. I think it's too bright and that was like 30%. But you can see what's going on. And the lights that I used are the same lights from the torpedo lift, just a flashing red light. I'm going to say that if you are putting stuff in through here, then you are probably, hmm, I'd say maybe you're not doing any kind of secret operation, but maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe those lights shouldn't be on. Oh, and when this door opens, they should probably, I'm going to need lots more buttons I think because you'd want some kind of spotlight or something to go on so you can actually see what's down there doesn't interfere with anything so that's good you do have to watch out for it at the very end I'm gonna say that's up to you to make sure it's out of the way when you're loading okay so I would say cargo bay is basically done I did want a door in the back here, and I think what I'll do is put all the microcontrollers up the front. Because the space I was going to use over here is not going to be big enough. So I guess uh, maybe now I can do some instrument panels for what's going on in the cargo bay. You're not going to... There's only really one entrance, right? So there's going to have to be a little wall over here, I think. And... I'll leave that button there. I mean, what's really, what do you need in here? You need a light switch, the two door controls, and a spotlight for here, and to turn on those flashing red lights. So it's really only like four things. Zip. We've got lights, uh, moon pool door, no, I want, um, cargo, moon pool door, cargo door, moon pool lights, wow, that's bright. So that's just the four corner ones. Cargo door flashing lights. And then moon pool direction lights. Hmm. Moon pool. Hmm. That's what I want. They're like flashing on and off. Except I think. Instead of it just like turning on straight away, or I think it's the turning off. It'd be cool if it if it like dimmed. But then I would need counters on every one of these. I'll come back and change how that works. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this works now. The folding doors on the top mean you can use this to transport cargo. The moon pool in the bottom. I don't know what to say. So thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.